Oh. Uh, yes, welcome to episode six of uh, Star Wars The Rogue Legacy. Uh, tonight we have Novik Nomak, aka Mr. Kraken. Hello. We also have Zeus, aka Licky. She's making a cuppa. Who's making a cup of tea, as you know, every English person should. And then we have <laughs> Okay. <Mac. laughs> right. <laughs> I'm just going to point out that you might be in trouble. She didn't have her headphones on, did she? Oh, yes. yes. Oh, damn it. <laughs> She's away from the That's right. That's She's right. got wireless, too. <laughs> oh, God, I thought it was up to you that had it. I'm sorry, Licky. Oh, I got her a pair of wireless <laughs> as well. <laughs> oh, why would you do this? I thought I had oh, escaped it. Oh, God. <laughs> Are you not English, eh? <laughs> you did say I. Yeah, she did. I apologise. Hashtag GM in trouble. <laughs> well, yeah. Okay, so extra experience points for Zeus. <laughs> for no other reason. Okay, and uh, yes, so Captain Yen Osama, aka okay, Ryan. Please save me. Hello, uh, who actually forgot to do the cameras on the stream and is now frantically trying to do that. <laughs> that could be done, no worries. Uh, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It, it's it's absolutely fine. It's just... as long as they can hear us. That's the main thing. But I did do nice new pictures for Zeus and IG, even though I think IG is an imperial traitor. <laughs> Why do you think that? I actually am fairly quizzical about that. It's a my own personal point of view. Why do you think IG is a traitor? I just don't trust any droid. It's a droid. He's a droid, because so you're racist, basically. No, not racist. <laughs> Thank you. I just don't trust any droid that manages to get an, off an Imperial Star Destroyer without being reprogrammed. I mean, or at least lowjacked in some way. I mean, his ship was shot at. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but they're going to do that, aren't they, to make it look convincing? <laughs> it's so paranoid. I love it. I would do exactly the same thing. Oh, that's fair enough. Uh, right, so, uh, from whence we la last left our group, you are all inside the Nomura, pretty much making your escape from Tatooine into low orbit. Um, you've taken this sort of five-minute break, effectively, just to regather your constitution and have a quick pop into the med bay, uh, Thula uh, is going to be part of the ship from land to space. Once Captain Yenos has treated the wounds of the other two, he's then going to regain control of the ship to do the hyperspace jump. Or, like, interplanetary jump, or just cruising around the Earth, uh, around Tatooine. It's up to you. Don't want to put destinations into your mind. So, uh, that's happened. You've now reached upper orbit. Um... You've kind of angled it so that you're away from uh, the Imperial Star Destroyer that's currently orbiting Tatooine. Uh, and you are in orbit. You're not displaying any kind of ID beacon, so you've kind of escaped that. Uh, we are. We've still got the uh, beacon in that says we're a, a standard civilian freighter. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the same one that you ha activated when you were in between the stars of the Tatooine system. Um, and as you enter upper orbit, uh, IG-72, yep. IG yeah, um, docks with you on the D6. Mr. Rainy Bolt. <laughs> Instantly. <coughs> uh, he, he docks with you, uh, parks the ship, comes up to the upper deck. Uh, while Zeus and Nervik are still in the many bay uh, and Janos has slipped into the um, the parting chair it's about then that you get an interspace transmission uh, that pops up specifically for Thula and so she, I mean you pass it over to her she reads it on her co-pilot screen and Janos being the inquisitive person that you are kind of looks over to her and she turns a paler blue than is her norm uh, as she reads further on in the message. You can't see what it is. 
Uh, it's about this time that she turns to you and excuses herself from duty and goes to her own private quarters. She doesn't give you a reason why. Sounds like Fula. Yeah. Um, and it's over to you. First thing so it's dim. Did you actually use those stims? What's the uh, healing thing on? Five for it's the... five wounds and then minus one thereafter. Right. Uh, in that case, yes. <clears throat> How many would you like to use? I've only got. God, I'll use both of them. Both of them? Okay, so that would be nine. So you're on seven. Arr. I'll, put, I'll put you on seven. There you go. Uh, and yeah, I'll see if you can take those stim packs off. Already done it. Now, has anyone else got any more stim packs left over? Is my question. Oh, I might actually. I don't think I have, but I might. No. No. I'll check IG72. I doubt it. No. Okay. But it does mean that Zeus is still on minus two wounds. Just FYI. Okie dokie. It'll be fine. Um, so you've managed to su successfully get into orbit, and it's your well. The galaxy is your Easter egg. I like galaxy Easter eggs. Yes. Somewhat. Um, Easter find. So we're on Tatooine. Well, we're all currently orbiting, orbiting Tatooine. Anybody got anywhere they want to go? Well, I mean, uh, I, 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 there was the other uh, bounties on the, the Holonet. Yep. Zendikar Corporation and Han Solo, which is probably not a good one to try and invest in, considering what you did to Jabba. Yeah. Yeah, but the... the we need to capture, or the, we could capture a defal assassin. Yep. For the Zendikar. Mm. 2,000 credits. It's not an insubstantial amount of money. So, do you want to go for this? Well... I mean, we've got nothing else to do. We've got five days to kill before the wedding. Unless there's a hospital ship flying around somewhere near, I think that's probably going to be our next step. Okay. Yeah, In that we, case, need, we need to make some bank to get that back to tank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Um, in that case, I'd like for all of you to roll a knowledge check uh, out of rim, please. Oh, we also haven't rolled... Uh, we didn't roll at the end of the last oh, session. yes, of course. Uh, right, can all of you roll a... I'll well, just hit dice roll on your dice pool, please. Oh, I didn't... Which one? Cool. No, no, no. No. Oh. Pay attention, dear. Yay, lights The up. knowledge, first oh, of all, for the, for the actual knowledge check. Oh, right. do, do, do the dice ball first. Oh, just the, the D20 on the dice ball, Ev. Yeah. Tell you turn into the dark side. <laughs> dark side. Go for it. What do you mean turning? Oh. Hey, Novik, nice. Well done, Novik, I can count on you. So what did you okay, want? So Out of rim. If it is your will, my master. <laughs> Out of rim. What? what? Could I use Underworld instead? Uh, oh, yeah, no, not for this. You cannot. Go away, compare the mere cat. <clears throat> Where the hell is. Okay, so we've got three light side points for you guys and one for me. Are you ready for the mm. in the knowledge rolls? 
I am ready for the knowledge rolls now. Go for it. Uh, which one are we using? Outer Rim? Out, outer Rim. Yep. I'm gonna... <laughs> Complete blank for Novik. Yay! Do that often. And uh, Zeus, if you can roll me an Outer Rim knowledge check, please. Edoke. Hmm, so whilst you're doing that, kind of look on skill guide knowledge. Okay, fair enough. Skills then. Right at the bottom. Right at the bottom. I'm li- I'm going. Yeah, I think I'm on the wrong one. No. Yeah. I can't tell because it's all black. Our skills, right? Which one was it? Right at the bottom. Under knowledge, outer rim. Ah, also blank. Okay, so, Yanos. Uh, you have not heard of where this is. Hmm. However, you think it's. I mean, well. Yeah. Let me try and. Hmm. Uh, it triggers a memory of Hypori to you. Hypori. Yeah. Well, that's not that far away. It's not that far away. I mean, you don't know why it triggers the memory of Hypori. Maybe that's the place you need to go to. Maybe that's some way that you heard the information that you need. Can't quite put your finger on it. Well, I'll just tell everybody I've got a feeling we should go to Hypori and see what they think. Cool. I mean, that's just under a sector away, so that's no, that's no worries for you guys. How long will that take? Um, hmm. I do have it written out. Starship fuel costs into one sector. So I'm going to say it's bang on probably about 700 credits to get there. And, yeah, it's about 100 credits per day. So it's going to take you seven days to get there. Ah. Do I get another wound? <laughs> well, actually, you'd get seven wounds back. Oof. And you'd also get, well, just before you enter the Hypori system, you'd get another critical injury check as well. Mm. But before you do any of this. Oh. <laughs> yes. I've got a bad feeling about this. Six. Okay, cool. Pirates. Uh, everybody can get six wounds back. So Zeus, Ooh. Novik, get six wounds back. Me so scared. Put... Where do, which bar do I add that to? Uh, add Ooh. it to your wound threshold. So you've got current minus two. You can put that up to current four. Okay. Right. Nice. So, yeah, you've all had a little bit of uh, time to rest and relax. Uh, everybody strains up to full as well, by the way, because you've had at least one night. So, everybody strains on max. Zeus, you're fine. Yeah, Zeus, um, Novik, and Yanos can do the same. I think, yeah, Yanos isn't the same. Novik. Yep, you're full. Cool. Uh, so you're you a hyperspace. You've been in hyperspace for the last six days. It's been quite boring. Uh, you can place yourselves where you want, wherever you want to be placed. Uh, well, Novik has been studying Namora's lightsaber. Cool. Where would you like to do that? Uh, he does that in the armory. Okay. And Zeus, where would you like to hang out for the last six days? Where would it be your most frequented place? Thank you. 
Say that again. Sorry, I'm tired. I was a million miles away. That's right. Uh, Zeus, where would you spend most of your time on this trip? Looking at computer stuff on the ship. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm going to put you in the cockpit then, if that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. You mean one, uh, the free station, which has got loads of different dials on it now. Buttons. Yeah, so Buttons. Push, pushing shiny buttons for a week. You've been in heaven, just scanning the holonet, uh, looking up new, you know, new information, hitting up YouTube, putting on your own favourite tunes. Uh, Yenos is getting a little bit irritated. Mm. Yeah. Because he's um, imperial and they are not allowed to listen to music. And he just wants to watch Hello Kitty online. Let's That's play. That's true. Mm-hmm. That's true. That is oh, true. Damn it. I've been trying to get through one Let's Play, okay? <laughs> we have like, a week of travelling. No, it's being interrupted. Bandwidth's not available. Um, and now, because of Zeus, my whole YouTube recommendations are all over the shop. <laughs> <laughs> so, at about seven o'clock in the evening, uh, you're all kicking back. You've got your favourite beverage in hand. And ah, uh, suddenly you, f- you feel the whole ship shake. And you drop out of hyperspace a day early. Mm. I, Go, what do you do? I take my feet off the console <laughs> and frantically check the scanner screen to see what the fuck is going on. Okay. Uh, everybody feels this. So Zeus and Nervic, you feel the ship come out of hyperspace a day early. Nervic gets on the com and says, what have you done now? Nothing. We came out of hyperspace. I spilt my cup of tea. Everything's going mental. <laughs> the red bulb's going off. I don't... Is yeah, there, there is doesn't one... answer and climbs up to the gunnery position. <laughs> okay. Just to have uh, a, good, a better in... look. Yeah, put yourself in the gunnery position. Uh, uh, a big red button starts flashing in front of Yanos. Mm-hmm. It is the pro- proximity yeah. warning. Red button. Mm. There is a ship nearby. What type of ship? An interceptor. <laughs> a very large ship that doesn't uh, have a active uh, identification beacon on. Does it? Can we physically see the ship? No, you're too long a range at the moment. However, it is moving towards you at high velocity. Um, can scan it. That is a, a thing you can do. I, I think... Probably Zeus. I was going to say, I think yep. the next thing would probably be asking Zeus to scan. Although Zeus would probably already be halfway through the scan by the time I've asked. True. <laughs> so, Zeus, can you do me a... Hmm, a perception check for me, please. Yeah. Okay, right. You have no idea about the configuration or what the ship could possibly be. As you know, forget that. I should have actually lowered that down by one, so that would have been flat, uh, even. Okay. Um, actually, you do get a vague impression that you, you've... Zeus specifically thinks that he, she has seen it before. Okay. Was it perhaps in orbit around Tatooine? No, it wasn't that recent. It's from long ago. Uh, and it gets it within com range. Ago. Yeah, it gets within com range, and then you get a com alert notification on your dashboard. Someone's trying to contact you. Everyone calling. Yeah. Weep, weep, weep. Weep, weep, weep. Um, weep, o- audio weep, comms weep. only? It is audio comms only. Yeah, it's no, there's no holographic display coming in. I press the button to receive the call. Okay. Uh, a gruff kind of list, listing voice comes over the intercom. Zeus, I know you're on that ship. You do. How? Did you say that out loud? All right, yeah. 
No, I, I said that you do in my head, and I'll say the how out loud. Oh, how? Okay, interesting. Uh... How? <laughs> well, they definitely know now. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Even if it was just a bluff. Ah, Zeus! I thought you were on that ship. It's been a <laughs> while, hasn't it? it? Has indeed. Who are uh, you? <laughs> you rec- you recognise the voice. All right. Okay. Uh, the voice is of. Hold on, let me just pull up your sheet. Dave, the plumber. Yeah, Dave. He has some work done for you. Um, no. Uh, it's never yes, anyone. It is you. a uh, a band of pirates that you kind of used to do business with back in the day. Uh. Uh, <laughs> you accepted a few contracts for them. Uh, you know that the ship that they travel on is called the Bloody Nail. And the captain of the ship, who's speaking to you now, is a name by Baraduk Seventine. Okay. That girl. Um, won't you come aboard? We have much to discuss, Zeus. Why would I want to discuss anything with you? We had good dealings in the past, and I have a contract for you and your new associates. Mm, we can talk this way. I don't think I fancy coming aboard your ship just yet. On the internal comm, Nervik says, Associate, I'm a named partner. <laughs> <laughs> come, Sorry. come now, Zeus. We have worked close side by side for many months. You must trust me now. Do I trust him? Uh, well, I mean, they are pirates. I I was going to say, take Mm -hmm. it from somebody who could possibly be considered a pirate themselves. Yeah. I I wouldn't trust Janus. So I definitely wouldn't trust career pirates. Yeah. It's 100% up to you about how you feel about this particular person. You have... You do know them from your past, so it's up to you to ascertain whether or not you think they're a bit sketchy. I don't trust them. I'm not going to. I'm not going to trust pirates of all people. No. Okay. Is there a nearby planet with a breathable atmosphere? No, you're in deep, deep space right now. Yeah. You're like... You're like ten parsecs away from even the closest. <gasps> <laughs> You're ten parsecs away from even the closest inhabitable planet. I know something that's breathable. Ah uh, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> My spacesuit. True. I have a lightsaber now. <laughs> so, uh, yes, you can do that. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Why do I give you these things? Um, oh, so Baradux says to Zeus. Come, come now. Uh, I have some information for you. I know how much you crave for these things. What's the information? I have a quite lucrative deal that adheres to your particular set of skills. Yes? Yes, it's a computer system ages old that we can't possibly access. But I know someone of your skills might have a whale of the time. As long as you bring back a few choice artifacts from myself and my crew. It's Windows ME, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Don't do it, it's a trap. <laughs> it's a trap. Sharp. Come on, well... Zeus, for old times. What do you say? No. Uh, how about... No. I have, I, I have a feeling we're not really in a position to negotiate. Considering they just dropped us out of hyperspace. Yeah, you were interdicted. How big is their ship compared to our ship? It's about the same length, but twice... Oh, no, about three times as wide. Uh-huh. It's also is it like the one that Han and Chewie had commandeered for hauling Wrath Towers? Uh, uh, no, it's not quite as that big. It's not quite as big as that. It's probably about half the mass. It's got no like docking ports for it, so oh. it's not, it's not hollow on the inside. It's solid. It's just big. It's just wide. 
Yeah. I would tell you what class it is, but you didn't get it on your sensor sweep, so I can't tell you. No, no, no it's alright. I, I, uh, I still think we should go and at least have a face-to-face. -face. Uh, by the way, are you putting this on, like, mute while you're... Yeah, that, uh, yes. I'll, I'll, I'll mute it. And they we'll... hear cute little music. Yeah, uh, so you got some hold music. Your call <laughs> is important to the Nomura crew. <laughs> it, I, I will point out it's all licensed free music because you know we ain't paying for that shit. Hell no, it's all music. Yeah. Um, That's fair enough. But yeah, so go ahead, say what you want to say. I think it it might work in our favour. I mean, if if we can take something away from it that we could possibly sell or you know. We, we, Worst case scenario, I get to shoot somebody in the face. I may even get to go vroom, vroom. Yeah, you, <laughs> you get to go vroom, vroom, and I get to shoot people in the face. And we are in need of credits. Hmm. We need credits, we've got a job to do. These guys have interdicted us. What do? Well, they obviously, you know, want to hire the crew in some capacity. It, it, I'm just... Do they know? Do you reckon they know about the crew and our past dealings with peoples? Mm, we're not that well known over this side of the galaxy, are we? I wouldn't have thought so, no. I mean, we did most of our early work around Dantooine. Mm -hmm. On account of that's where I might have accidentally crashed a ship. <coughs> this is true. But it's a well. I'm. I mean. I mean. I'm game for. Well, I don't know whether subterfuge would be the best thing. Because either if I mean if we let Zeus go on its own, then Zeus is on its own. Either way, if I mean, if we try and sneak aboard, I honestly think they're pirates, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. if, if they wanted the ship, they would just disable us, board us, and take the ship. They obviously know Zeus, mm -hmm. and they have specifically invited you aboard as well. And and Zeus says that it doesn't trust them, which kind of makes. Yannis think that they're probably his sort of people. <laughs> and we are in that sort of trade where you sometimes have to deal with people you don't really want to deal with. Mm. And who knows, we might run into Jabba again and I might be able to shoot him in the face again. <laughs> <laughs> You're a matching scar. But I will leave the decision up to Zeus, as they are her contacts, its contacts. I get confused. Well, I wish they'd negotiate with us, like, just through the speaker, rather than us having to go onto the ship. It's a thing. People like to deal face to face, know exactly what they're coping with. Size up the competition, as it were. Yeah, you know female time on board the bloody nail that um, the captain did often uh, prefer people to come on board so he could size them up. He's, he's quite old school in his thoughts and practices. He doesn't like, like inter-planetary um, or inter-ship communication that much. Even on the hologram, which is why he never installed a hologrammatic display. You did offer him for like a premium to get one in installed but he said no I mean don't forget as well people can intercept like transmissions but an actual face to face conversation is always good because there's no evidence that you've agreed to kill somebody I mean um... <laughs> well should we take a group vote on whether we should do business with these guys or to go and talk to them Well, 
Well, then, well we haven't got much choice, in, in my opinion. I, I don't think we've got much choice either, to be perfectly honest. And I quite like my ship looking the way it does. I don't want it to have holes in it. <laughs> so I'm, I'm assuming that's two for yes. Yeah. From from Janos and uh, Nervic. And uh, you... Zeus, yes or no? Yeah, let's do it then. That's a, that's a unanimous yes. <laughs> and IG will just do whatever the Imperials want him to do. It'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, Imperials transmit a <laughs> yes vote for him. It flashes up in the big like thumbs up on his display. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, it doesn't happen. Um, yeah, they transmit uh, coordinates in, in between the two ships where you can both uh, like pirouette and dock against one another. I'm good at that ship. I got A yep. stars in that in flight school. Parallel parking? Yeah. Parallel space parking. Okay. Yeah, you pretty much handbrake turn it, dock successfully. The uh, uh, Where is your hatch for getting out? I guess it's probably on the cargo bay level somewhere. Um, yeah, so you'll go down to the cargo bay level, um, wait for the uh, the tubes to depressurize between the two ships. They do. You progress forward. Um, you get to like what is the outside the hull of the uh, of the bloody nail. Uh, the light goes amber, amber, green. Opens up, and you're confronted by two people holding heavy blaster rifles, standing either side of you. They're wearing uh, like mismatched red and white armor. Looks like they're just being scavenged from various places. None of them really make a uh, full set of contiguous armour. Uh, they nod to you all. Uh, one leads you and the other follows you up. Uh, Zeus, you know the way. They're taking you all to the bridge. Uh, and when you get there, there's uh, several stations around the bridge uh, occupied by different races. Uh, and in the middle, in a big command chair, is a barabelle which is a big lizard-like creature. Um, he is heavily scarred. Um, it's very difficult to tell the age of Barabels, but you would assume that from, from his scars and his size, he's quite old. Um, you know him, Zeus, as Baradic Sebentine. And he addresses you, Zeus. He's like, ah, I'm glad you have made it to my ship, Zeus. Would you introduce me to your fellow crew? Badly. Vomps. <laughs> this is Kathy. <laughs> Sorry. This is Janos. Or Janos. Dave. Is it Janos or Janos? Hey. He'll answer to either or. Oh, But Janos. Okay. And Noavik. <laughs> have you got your lightsaber on you by the way not on display but it is attached to my belt just under my jacket I've got my vibro okay. axe are you using that as your like, walking axe yeah yeah as yeah I, I mean to. you know I'm yeah. injured so I'm using it as a <laughs> you wouldn't yeah, take an old man's walking stick <laughs> <laughs> old man's vibro axe from him that he uses to lean on occasionally Whilst murdering people. Uh, no, of course not. Uh, so. Ah, Zeus. Well, it's fortunate that we saw you passing. I recognised your ship. And so, uh... Hey, hmm, I thought I would just introduce myself. Well, reintroduce myself to your crew. What? What? Have we met? I'll reintroduce myself to Zeus and introduce myself to your crew. Uh, aha! Uh. <laughs> My name is Baraduk Seventine, commander of the Bloody Nail. Uh, a few weeks back, we found a freighter. Uh, now, we were unable to access uh, any of its strategic components. We stripped a bit of its, of its engines, its sublight drive, and its armor, but 
we couldn't access the core. Uh, it's been heavily encrypted. But Zeus, I know that you're well adept at these kind of things, and I would like to offer you a deal if you're interested. What's the deal? Well, the deal is you get me into the interior of the ship, you get some choice components from the freighter, some hardware, and you can have whatever else you well, your crew finds. Um, you can see probably throughout this entire conversation it's not that um, he's not making any kind of uh, effort to disguise himself but he's looking at Nervic specifically when he's talking to you all it's kind of like mm-hmm. sizing Nervic up Nervic smiles with a bloody grin where'd the blood come from? <laughs> I've just been in a major fucking punch up yeah, but that was six this days ago this- yeah, there's going to be some residual damage, you know. Perhaps a wisdom tooth got knocked out. All right, fair enough. Okay. Yeah, I guess fair enough. <laughs> You'll be bleeding. Either that, or, or, or no, no, if it just took a, it took one of his fingernails and went like that, just as they boarded, to just give that little, <laughs> little right. bit of pizzazz to the grin. So, could I say <laughs> that you're actually actively trying to intimidate him? No. No, 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 no. I'm just being overbearing. He's, All right, he's just passively being intimidating. <laughs> passive aggressive Zabrak with the lightsaber. Being passive aggressive. <laughs> uh, so, what say you, Zeus? And again, he's not actually really looking at you, Zeus. He's mostly looking at Novik when he addresses you all. Is Novik worried? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> um. Novik starts playing with his nipples. Just does a little dance. Uh, <laughs> no, does, that's not canon. Well, you said it now. So, that's fan uh, fiction. <laughs> you can't write fan fiction for your own character. Yes, I can. Well, I'm I a ghostwriter. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it under a pseudonym. <laughs> uh, you just swap the first letters of your last name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, damn it, it doesn't work. The same. Uh, so, Zeus. Yeah. Do we have an accord, Zeus? Oh, God, it's the Barbosa of so. Star Wars. <laughs> I, uh, I do wonder at your current compatriot's ability to get this done. And again, he is staring straight at Novik when he says this. Novik's knuckles whiten as he grips the vibroax a little bit firmer <laughs> at the slight that was just hinted. Then Janus uh, will turn around and go, I can assure you, from one captain to another, we are more than capable. Okay. Gives Janus a dismissive wave. He has not made any kind of eye contact with Janos at all. Um, he's occasionally addressed Zeus. He's mostly kept eye lock with uh, Nervik. Janos starts playing with the grenade on his belt. Mm-hmm. Just in a sort of passive... Uh, so, sort of... Yeah. There's a lot of this tension going on. You feel it's very powerful in the air, like static electricity. Uh, so Zeus, I mean, he's kind of using you as the approval here. He's well, you're his point of contact. Yeah, I've just said yeah. Yeah, just yeah. Do you not want to discuss uh, the terms? Very well. Do How many are? are- Sorry, go. So, what did I say? Did you not want to discuss terms with him? Better add. Like, we get some collateral on the go. (laughs) You're the muscle. I know, this isn't something Novik would say. I'm saying this out of character. Get, Get some collateral before we take this on, you know. 
could be. Perfect, doesn't give a shit. Could be a rather expensive endeavor. Out of pocket expenses, you know. What do we want? Our standard day rate. I mean, do you, do you all kind of like huddle at this point to talk about it? I don't know. Do we, yes, let's huddle. Do we okay. do we Let's want an Amora huddle? So you're all rugby scrum. At the very least, Zeus does and kind of like folds you all into a, uh, a forced huddle anyway. So you don't have much of a choice. <laughs> what does Zeus sound like, by the way? I don't know. Good question. So I see it kind that. of like a little bit like a grasshopper. Yeah, I think of it as like the um uh not the click mix, the the Geonosian sort of but the not as okay. uh, yeah, the Geonosians, but not as not as guttural. That's okay. how I, I how I've imagined it. But Yeah. I guess she, there's a lot of sort of a thinner frame, taller but thinner. Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. So anyway, yeah, Zeus. Uh, you've got this Nomura huddle going on. What do you want to say to each other? What terms do we want to make, guys? <clears throat> well, we need to know where we got to go to get this freighter. Is it on board this ship? Have they have they docked it somewhere? Is it on a moon somewhere? Have we got to travel for it? If it's too far, we're going to need to fuel up at some point. What's in the core? And was the ship called the Ebon Hawk? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's not the Ebon Hawk. I'm just thinking because last time somebody opened a door on the Ebon, Ebon Hawk, there was a HK model that just stood there. No, it's not the Ebon Hawk. It's big. It's much bigger than that. Was it Imperial? Was it Freelance? Freelance. All this you've been given sort of so far. You know, it's big and Freelance. It's not Imperial, Rebel, or Alliant. And what constitutes what we find? Because we could find lots of great stuff and then they could want it. Well, you got the impression that he was going to give you a list of things that he wants and then everything else is yours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And does he have any brandy? You don't know. <laughs> that you don't know. We just need to know where we're going. And we want a little something up front as a, uh, an insurance policy. And we want to know if we're going alone or whether we're taking some of his crew with us. Oh yeah, good point. And I relay all that information back to him. Yes, yeah, so you're going to break the huddle. Yay. Break. Okay. Go team. Right. <laughs> Go team. Um, frame your question, Zeus. Well, I just repeat what they just said. Are we okay, taking uh, anyone with us? And No, we have some errands to run. So you can uh, meet us back here at these coordinates in two days. Uh, no, we're not, not two days. Six days. You can meet us here. I'm thinking it's two days there, two days back. Yeah. About that. And then a couple of days to do what we need to do. Yeah. We have some business on Rodia. Uh, so we'll meet you back here in six days. Uh, I'm not going to give you any of my crew. And yes, we do have Brandy. I'll take the brandy and 
see you in six days. Well, surely uh, a captain would toast with another captain. Oh, well, if you bring it's in only the... the unwritten rule. If you're bringing the yeah. brandy, I'll toast. So he, he clicks his clawed, scalian fingers, and uh, a couple of minutes later, someone comes back on with three glasses and a decanter of brandy. Uh, the person pours out three glasses, and he takes one. Uh, one is offered to you, Yenos, and the other is offered to Zeus. And there specifically isn't one offered to know of it. Oh, that's, mm. that's a bit insulting. And as he drinks it, he knocks it back and just locks eyes in there of it as he does it. Have you got a problem with me? So, I mean, he finishes his brandy, puts it back on the... I mean, he carefully does it. It's all considered. So he doesn't rush his brandy. He puts it back onto the tray. Almost a minute passes before after you ask this question. He says, uh, no, I have no quarrel with a machine-bred aberration such as yourself. As much as I would have a quarrel with my Navi computer. Machine-bred? Lab born. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> um, you would know that Zabrax, in some circles, uh, have a, a reputation for being genetically engineered from like many eons uh, ago. Uh, and some people still follow these ethos. They, they prefer the term selectively bred. Hmm. Do you say this to him? <laughs> yes, yes, I will. Uh, one, one of the many luxuries that I uh, enjoy is not having to be PC compliant. <laughs> I'm not PC compliant. He just has a rather large vibro axe. Ha! Huh. I can see his vibro axe. But this non-natural synthetic husk that you travel around with uh, matters not to me. Yeah. You can you can employ a droid. You can employ this beast. As long as you get the job done, I don't mind. Uh, Yanis will down the brandy, slap it back on the tray, and say, "Right, we'll see you in six days." Good, good. I'm glad we have an accord. Hopefully you won't lose too much of your equipment. And he gives a, a knowing look at Noavik when he says this. But I'm afraid we can't reimburse you for any... Holy shit, later. that's canon as well. Yep. Sorry. I, I, Sorry. <laughs> it, <laughs> Sorry. Was, it was in the Rakata machine conversations from uh, Old Republic. Yep. Sorry, I, I, I was Sorry? quite... I, I've never heard that before about Zabrax. Yeah, yeah. So this is a, a very much a slight against your race. He's racist. Right. To him, it's not even racist. It's kind of in the way that people treat droids. And that's the kind of the way that he treats Zabrak. We don't treat droids like that. We just keep threatening to put a restraining bolt on ours. Mm, that's still a little bit slave-like. <laughs> no, no, reasons, okay, reasons. Yeah, until the whole Imperial thing, we were quite happy. True. Uh, anyway, so he, after you shared a drink and he's given you the coordinates, uh, which is halfway between your current interdicted position and uh, Excarga, which is on the outer, outer rim, It'll take you just over two, well, just under two days to get there. Right, are we going to have chance along the way to fuel up somewhere? Because we had a thousand credits worth of fuel. We've used uh, 600 getting to this point. Mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, 
you know that to get to halfway between X Carga and back, that would be almost all of your fuel. You probably, hmm. yeah, you wouldn't ha- you wouldn't even have enough to get us to High Pori if you did this job. I mean, you can ask him if he's got any fuel to spare. That uh, well, I'd, I'll ask him if he's got any fuel to spare then. Yes, I I do. And as Zeus has worked for us before, I won't give you the usual markup. Uh huh. Yeah, so basically, you can just buy buy it from a like, normal price. I, the only reason I want fuel is I don't want to get back here to be double crossed and not have enough fuel <laughs> to fly away. Yeah, that's fair enough. Um, yeah, I mean, you can buy as much as you you got credits, really. But we've got 2,000 credits, but I don't think the ship will take... I don't, I don't know how much fuel the ships can actually take. Uh, it can take up to about 5,000 credits worth of fuel. Right, so do we just want to fill the tank? For 5,000? Like, well, no, we, we got, we've got 2,000 credits oh, in 2, store. We've got... Or do we just want to put 1,000 credits worth of fuel in because that will do this run and then get us wherever we need to go after? Because we're only a day's travel from Hypori, which which is 100 credits at hyperspace. Uh, from where you are now, yeah. So that that as long as we've got an extra couple of hundred credits worth of fuel left over. So if we put a thousand credits in, that'll put us up to fourteen hundred credits worth of fuel. That's more than enough to go and do this job. Yeah, great. Okay, yeah, okay. I'll put it on the manifest. Yeah, take the money off, put the fuel in. Uh, he agrees to transfer the uh, fuel over to your ship I'll just connect up some leads to that uh, he also kind of leans down to you Yanos it's kind of the first time he's really properly talked specifically to you and he says uh, next time don't bring this thing with you and he nods over to Nervik what? I'll, I'll just turn around to him and say where I go, the Zabrak goes. Uh, he he, la- he sort of leans back into his chair, sprawls, and kind of gives you a dirty look. Don't care. Kind of sneers more than anything. If he, uh, if, he, dis- he dismisses you with a large clawed hand. If he wasn't so surrounded- them yet. If he wasn't surrounded by his crew, I would have shot him in the face by now. I have a lightsaber. (laughs) (laughs) It's true. Nervik and Janice haven't known each other. Haven't known each other very long, but they know each. They've known each other long enough to kill somebody for one another. (laughs) I don't know. You've known each other for like several years now. Oh yeah. It's quite a long time. But to be fair, the first few years he was only hanging around because I kept petting him. Mm, fair enough. This is true. Okay. So, uh, refueling commences, and within about um, 30 minutes, you're ready to go. Uh, so, you set course for uh, the coordinates are set between. Mm, it's roughly equidistant between Hypore and Excarga, if. Not a few degrees below their apex. Um, and you go there. So about another day passes. Uh, another day passes. So you get two more wounds back, everyone. For a night's rest. Um, but I only get one because now I'm up to maximum. Yep, fair enough. Oh, sorry, how many days, Riz? Oh, I two. had a bit. Oh, two. Okay. Can you... Oh, uh, does that mean I get rid of my critical injury now? Uh, actually, no, yeah, well, Ryan would have to do, well, oh, Yanos yeah. would have to do another check. 
on the in, in, in between day we'd have to do another check so I'll set that up uh, okay it is set up you can do another medicine check yay that, that's a yeah, that, is, that is yeah that does consider right so I mean well those advantage don't count because they're used for strain uh, Novik yes you are completely healed um, and you can actually get another wound back from that as well. Ooh, nice. Thank you, Janos. That's okay, buddy. So, and don't worry. Delete your... we, we'll kill him soon. Um, okay, can we also heal. try and heal... Oh, if we were doing that in the med bay, does Zeus. he get another um, wound back as well because of Bernie? No, um, Bernie kind of helps you with regards to healing critical injuries. But if you're focusing on critical injuries, it doesn't heal wounds ne- normally. But you've got a triumph, so I let you heal a wound right, okay, off okay. of that. So can we do uh, Zeus as well? Because is Zeus still critically injured? Uh, Zeus is critically injured, yes. But someone else other than you needs to do that critical injury roll because only one person can do a critical injury roll per week. So, I guess the other person would be uh, Novik. Really? You, you can try and help uh, Zeus out with her or its critical injury. And. Just do a medicine I check. Go on, blind. I can't see any bloody. There it is. There you go. Oh. Uh, I think <laughs> this didn't go quite as well. You're very unfamiliar. <laughs> with the Zerpine physiology, and unfortunately, she takes a wound by you trying to heal her. Sorry. And a strain. Sorry. But that was on day five. So by. No, day six. That's day seven. So by day eight, she's taken another strain off. Do you want so, me to roll medicine, yeah? No, I just rolled uh, uh, okay. it. You take yeah. a strain and a wound. Yeah. So I've done, I've done all that. I've done all that for you, Licky. Oh, so thank done. you, thank you. That's right. Uh, so everybody's on what they should be for wounds and strain right now. Uh, yeah, you exit hyperspace, and for an instant you see just, you know, a normal star field, uh, and then your senses pick up on extreme range a freighter that's kind of uh, just rotating about its forward axis slowly. Uh, it's got no navigation lights. There's very low power. I bring us in. Mm-hmm. Uh, getting close to you, eventually get the transponder from it, and it identifies this uh, freighter as the Tilly's End. It's a Wayfarer class freighter. Hmm. <laughs> Sounds familiar. <laughs> uh, it's got a huge cargo hold. Um, so a few things that um, Barabuk asked you to get back. There were two core components, so components from the core drive. And there was one cargo item that he got from the manifest as well that he wants brought back. So there are three items that he wants. The rest what of was it the is cargo one? Uh, it just gives you a cargo number ah. on the itinerary, and that's it. So you don't know how big it is going to be. It could be the size of your palm. It could be... I mean, the cargo hold in this is huge. So it could be the size of, of another ship. <clears throat> right, so are we going into dock? Uh, that would be the only way of getting aboard, yeah. Well, it's not the only way, is it? Novik's got a space suit. Well, and... True. But yeah. um, do we know Without if... Without de- depressurising the whole ship, yeah. it would be the easiest way of getting Do we know if the life support is still working? Good question. Uh, someone can do a perception scan for me. I don't mind who. Um... Do you mean... I guess either Yanos mm. oh. or... No, but, oh no! Well, anyone can do it, really. 
I get a I get a boost die to my perception. Hang on, why have I got a boost die? I don't think I should have that. Um Oh, yes, I do. Uncanny senses. Oh, oh of course, because I, I put the, the four um, emergent on, didn't I? Um, so I get a boost die, but other than that, I've just got two green. I've only got two green. Zeus? I'll do it now. Uh, perception, you got three green. I got so, yeah, three. Yeah, mm. te technically, Zeus would still be the most perceptive of your. Shall I do it? Yeah, go for it. Good thing. Uh, Alright, go on then. Uh, well, okay. Um, hmm. Interesting. Uh, uh, you're not sure. I mean, you don't see any um, atmosphere escaping the ship. The ship does at least some kind of power. So, it looks like the whole thing's intact and that there is some kind of power inside, which would lead you to believe there would be a stable atmosphere inside, but you can't confirm that. Your best guess is yes. It's a good job this captain always brings a breathing mask. <laughs> it's a good job this Zabrak has a spacesuit. Yes. Yeah. And also there was Zeus. Yeah, uh, you line your ships up to dock and you pressurize the um, extension arm. Everything goes green, technically. Uh, and you can... Uh, actually, Zeus, you can also do a computer's check, if you wish, to get okay. the layout of the ship. Oh, well, yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah, no worries. You get a complete layout of the ship, so you kind of know where you got to go before you enter. Okay. Yeah, you Is there any way of finding out? Oh, excuse me. Any way of finding out if there's any life signs aboard or in the cargo hull? Well, the, wouldn't the computers check to a system? Because you got an advantage on it. Uh, I'm going to say you can access the life support system and you can confirm... Well, yeah, you've got a choice. You can either access the life support system with that computer check, see if it's running, or you can access the internal sensors and see if there is uh, any life forms aboard. So one of the two. Hmm. Yes? Yes? It's your computer check. You say I can check if there's any life forms. Life aboard. forms, or whether the life support is running. Yeah, one or two. Mm, that's a tough one. Does 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 a, a vulpine or verpine need life support systems? Yes. <laughs> Damn it. Yes, yes they do. <laughs> oh, I'll check for life support systems. Okay, you check the life support systems. You see they are functioning normally. They're not like overrated. So not trying to pump atmosphere out into the well, into deep space. It's going to be functioning at a normal capacity, which would lead you to um, believe that there is an atmosphere on board. Kidok. Can I do another one to check if there's people on board? <laughs> uh, hmm. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. So you can. This, this, uh, this is the guilt. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. So roll yeah, again, computers again, yeah? Yeah, another computers, yeah. Huh. Interesting. That is very interesting. Okay, right. Yes, uh, you don't... Well, you don't detect life forms aboard. However... Um, whilst you're logging into computers, you find that <clears throat> you can also access the internal motion tracking system. So there are no heat signatures aboard, but there is movement aboard. Thank you. Mm. Mastroid! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Droids, man, they're no, going to be no, the they're... death of us. Um, <laughs> actually, with that triumph, I'm going to say you probably actually do know that they are roughly humanoid-esque size, so they'll only be between a metre and two metres tall. Oh, fuck. Assassin droids. <laughs> not that I'm paranoid in any way about assassin droids. No, of course not. And the fact that no. we have one that is an Imperial spy, even <laughs> in the <laughs> Uh, well, well, all that information is yours. And you can discuss how best to get on board whilst I take a quick pee break. Hey, Back in two minutes. I vote we just open the airlock and start shooting anything that's got a face. I say we take off and nuke the entire thing from orbit, just to be sure. Well, we can't nuke the thing from orbit because we need to get the <laughs> stuff off it. <laughs> If nuking it from yeah, orbit was but an I, option... I knew I wasn't going to get any XP for the the alien reference, so I just said it while he was away. <laughs> hmm? So, yes. So, yeah, droids, they're going to be fun. Just like droids. Oh, I'm just glad that Zeus managed to fix the attachments on my weapon. <laughs> So I looked up Wayfarer class ships and they are huge. Mm -hmm. They are 82 meters long and that's not including the cargo pod. Wait, aren't we like 95? Yeah, we're 95, but we're 95 meters of pure awesome. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's as long, but wider than us. It's, yeah. But it's Lost. actually, it's, with the cargo pods, it's going to be a lot, lot a lot longer. Oh, it's one of those. Yeah. Uh, but apparently, you know the bounty hunter Trosk? Mm-hmm. Trosk had one. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Uh, yeah. But, uh, no mention of names on here, unfortunately. I get worried when he actually names the ships. <laughs> oh, yeah, so how we get, uh, what, what are we doing? We should probably discuss how we're actually getting on board. Um,. I think we should go. I think you and I should probably lead. And by you and I, I mean you. No, oh, thanks. <laughs> you are too kind. I'm good at range. If I get into too close, that's... Mm -hmm. Actually, I don't think it works like that in this. Being really close to somebody, I, if you're engaged, I don't think there's a penalty on a, a light ranged attack i'm not sure um hmm oh, i'm not sure either actually yeah i back uh mainly with uh no there's not engage with light is two and say well short for you is one so that actually is technically a penalty for you being a melee because if you're like several meters back it's only one difficulty for you if you're in engaged range it's two difficulty Right, so just remember that, guys. i got to be a couple of steps back before I can blast something. Ready here? Where would we... Being at short range is the optimum for, like, firing guns. Are we, are we docking sort of here? Is that the docking port? Where are you pinging? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's exactly it, yeah. You got it. So the bridge is right there. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Oops. What? What? You can have moving Facebook profile pictures now. Uh, yeah. Been around <laughs> for a while you now, apparently. Yeah, my mm -hmm. friend's got like a GIF that cycles through a bunch of her pictures. 
Oh, that's a point. Actually, has anybody seen a new iPhone advert? Apparently, now on an iPhone, you can take moving pictures. What? What kind of sorcery is this? Yeah. <laughs> Apple, you bunch of witches. Should we get back to Star Wars? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I just yeah. mean I've been meaning to tell somebody about that for days, and I keep forgetting. Okay, so it's super awkward to get to dock with a ship. So effectively, say this is the ship that you're docking with. My thumb is the port. Uh, this is the Nomura, and your port is here as well. You've got to do that. Mm-hmm. So there's like a, there's a there's a ninety degree like list on the axis to get it docked. Does the other ship? That, there's have, no actual. Does the other ship right? even have gravity? Uh, yeah, if it's got life support, it's got gravity. That is kind of enclosed in that whole one kind of check. Right, that, that's so fine. Zeus will be able to let you know that there is gravity on it. It just means that when we walk through into the tube, we've sort of got a shimmy around. Yeah, it's going to be really weird it when is. you step on board because you'd be stepping like a ninety degree step. So that may disorientate you initially. Uh, but as you can see, it's quite a fairly large cross or uh, airlock. So it's got the airlock going to the bridge, and there's one going to the main hull. One for the outside, and then one into whatever this area is over here that you don't know. Assassin droid storage. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, it, it could be called that. Mm-hmm. It could also be called the Room of Fire. <laughs> or the Room of Infinite Traps. It could also be the Room of Infinite Brandy. That is also true. Equally yeah. also true. Oh, uh, don't talk to me about Room with lots of brandy, because that got one of my other D&D players perma-killed. <laughs> and they set up a fireball in a brandy distillery. <laughs> which is right next to a lich's lair which awoken the lich and who killed him with time stopping <laughs> and power word, uh, uh, power kill. And the fucking lich was supposed to be an NPC that was going to help them. <laughs> so they blew up his lab that he'd been working 200 years on. He Is it the room of it. infinite Sith holocrons? Mm. Oh, you could do with one of those. You could do with a Sith, mm. specifically a Sith holocron. <laughs> knowledge, obviously. Just yeah, for the knowledge, just, not not yeah. not for any nefarious purposes. No, so, I mean knowledge is not intrinsically bad or good. It's just yeah. how you interpret this knowledge. Exactly. So if we speaking had... of which, the scourge of Manacor is canon again. Sorry, is it? Yes, when yes. Did Rebels. Ah, oh. it was awesome. Yeah, I had. Oh, a little, sorry, have to get catch up on that. I had a little oh. fangirl moment when the old master finally <laughs> revealed himself. Nice. Anyway, right, so, back to other <laughs> stores. Um, you, you dock successfully. Um, there's no real check involved in this, because it's... Although it is rotating, there's, you're not under any kind of fire or pressure. You can take your time and eventually dock. Right. And you, know, you, you are an Imperial officer for many... Well, Imperial pirate for many years. You've been a pirate for even more years than that. It's not really a check involved in that. So you just dock. Um... When you go on board, what kind of equipment are you taking with you? Uh, well, my um, my breaching equipment, uh-huh. uh, for sure. I'm okay. wearing. My, I've, I've I've got the spacesuit on. You got the spacesuit on. Have you got like, until, helmet up. Yeah, until we establish that. On or off. Yeah. Oh no, we yeah. have established that the the life support's working, haven't we? Yeah. Yes, you have. It yeah. might still be a wise precaution. You. Oh, I've got it, just in case, you know, I need yeah. to step outside. Yeah. <laughs> are are you wearing it, or are you just carrying it? Uh, I'm wearing it, but the the, the helm is down. It's, it's down, yeah. yeah. Okay, right, got you. Yeah, and Yanos, yeah, have you got your breathing mask with you? I, I always take my breathing mask with me everywhere. Okay, good <laughs> to know. Good to know. Uh, Zeus, is there anything extra that you'd like to bring with you? Mm. Have you got a breathing mask? I don't know is the answer. Third, uh, sorry, we're fourth tab. Scroll um, down to the bottom in the gear log. I specifically brought one in case the ship got attacked and you lot needed to scarper and we lost um, 
life support so I can still fly the ship into an Imperial. I do. I do have a breathing mask. Aha! There you go. Everyone's got a breathing mask. We are a well... Oh, that's a, that's a way of breathing in space. We are a well-prepared crew. It's good. Or well, paranoid crew. <laughs> yeah, that, that. Yeah. So, docking with this ship. Uh, it, take, it takes... It goes amber, amber, red... Amber, 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 green. You're fine. The seal has been achieved. Um, the two doors open, uh, and a wash of stale air hits all of you because you're not wearing any of your breathing apparatus. So instantly, you can tell. I mean, you're pirates. You've de- you've been around the derelict ships before. You can tell that this is quite an old sh- old ship, and so the the life support system has been on a minimum. So the oxygen is fairly low in here. Uh, and you board into the uh, inner airlock of the Brit- of the ship. So you've got, if we're going to go north, east, west kind of degrees, you've got either north to the bridge, you've got east towards this room, or you've got south towards the re- the interior of the ship. You'd know that the, uh, the actual stuff that... Um, Barabuck has sent you for is going to be south. Right. So, do we think it's probably prudent to go and investigate the bridge first? That is one hundred percent up to you. Your prudence well. is your own. Well, it's bridge, even, bridge it, might have logs. Yeah, exactly. We can find out what went on. Also, I'm I'm hesitant to go uh, east because you know that's the assassin droid assembly room. Um, or the brandy room. It could, it could be the brandy room, but I would much rather the bigger room beneath it be the brandy room. Okay, fair enough. Absolutely, it could be. Um, so, uh, so is it consensus that you go north? I'm yep. well, putting, I... putting it out Zeus? to the crew. Zeus? Mm-hmm. We're going to the bridge? Yes. Yes, okay. Okay. Um, yeah, the, the, uh, you, you try and open that airlock and the airlock goes amber, amber, red and then goes amber, amber, red and then comes up on the display saying that there is no atmosphere on the bridge. Hmm. You can override the door, of course. Yeah. And because you're in an airlock as, as it is, it would all be sealed from the rest of the ship. So you wouldn't lose atmosphere from the rest of the ship. Do we want to do that now, or do we want to do that last? Personally, I I think getting to the bridge and checking for logs is quite important. Yeah. I'm cool either way. I mean, I've got my full suit. So. Well, we got the breathing mask. That should sustain us for about an hour. Okay, FYI, um, if a humanoid body is exposed to, at, well, to atmos- well, no atmosphere, i.e. space, you've got about 8 to 12 seconds of usable consciousness. Right, so none of it can do that on his <laughs> own. <laughs> yeah, if you just got a breathing mask, you can still breathe, but your actual body will succumb to the uh, ravages of space, which is close to absolute zero. Well, let's split the party <laughs> in true Star Wars fashion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but the only the only thing I'm worried about is my okay. computer's checks <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Um, but also, what's this? Axe, axe, axe. <laughs> depending upon how you breach that door, you might not be able to close it afterwards. Uh, well, Zeus can look at the systems and see how best to... You could probably evacuate the air in the airlock. Yeah? Yeah. But you'd have to set it up with a timer and then get out of this airlock before you did it. And then the pressure would be equalised and then um, Nervic could just go into the no atmosphere bridge. But what about getting back into our own ship as 
we would because you'd have to repressurize the airlock now. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it's not too much of a problem. Well, Zeus does it all on a data pad. She should be able to do it remotely. <clears throat> With this, you'd actually have to access the actual terminal itself and then program it. And then exit the... So, basically, either you'd have to go back to your own ship or you'd have to go to the, the east room or the south room for safety. Right. Nervic, are you happy to go onto the bridge on your own? Because what we could do is we could check out the rest of the ship and see if there are any more spacesuits knocking about. All right, we'll do that then. I'm, yeah, okay. I'm you've, you've twisted me arm. <laughs> I don't want to send you Lightly. in there. I don't want to send you in there on your own because you're not exactly computer savvy. Oh, just all of the uh, no, all the insults fair, today. That's fair. That's fair. Um, he's a very charismatic person, and you know, if it, if it revolves around charisma, then you know that's fine. But the, the the core ability of this group has always been to be able to find the best person for any such job. It's very diplomatic of you. I can see why you're captain. I'm captain because it's my ship. <laughs> uh, that too. <laughs> there is no other reason. <laughs> okay, so the question is: south or east? Um, do we want to do east first and then go south? I mean, one of these rooms has got to be the room of infinite brandy. Yeah, yeah I I go east. Look up like ship terms for like uh, I know is it starboard or aft? I can never remember. Starboard. Well, well, aft is aft. the rear. Aft is oh, rear. Oh yeah, starboard or port is what. Starboard they are. is to the right. I'd, port. Port is the side that you always use to dock in. Port is the red light. <laughs> I know that much. Uh, starboard is the right hand side, port is the left. Okay, yeah. cool. So, do you want to go starboard or aft? Uh, if we go starboard first, because that seems like okay. it's in. Because this is what we saw before we came aboard, right? This is just a general yeah, this layout is just the, of this shit. Yeah. There are no details. It's just like the skim. It's like getting the art architect's blueprints yeah. for a ship. That's it. So, I think. So, if this we, is kind of what you know. If we check out starboard first, because if it's towards the front of the ship, one would assume it's probably crew quarters or something like that, because it's a freighter and you wouldn't want to mix. The rear of your ship would probably be most of your your cargo sort of holds. Mm -hmm. Especially on these sort of ships, considering they used to jettison the cargo holds if they were smugglers. I, Makes I, sense. Jedi's use the force, I use Google. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, uh actually I need Zeus to do a a check to yeah, get through check. the the starboard airlock because it actually is restricted. Get over which so can you do uh computers? computers. Well technically mechanics, one of your choice really. So has it got a little readout where it says restricted access? Mm-hmm. Upon seeing this, oh, there you go. Janice will look at Novik and go, restricted means valuable. <laughs> yes. Or private, as in sexual. Either or, uh, it's going to so, be a good day. Yeah. So the airlock opens, and you can see it, look, it looks to your... I mean, you've, you've been on quite a few ships before. It looks like it's the captain's quarters. Is it bigger than my own? Uh, substantially bigger than your own. I'm a little bit upset. It's probably at least three times the size of yours. It's got a large, um, a large desk in the fore quarter. In the aft quarter, it's got a, a desk and terminal, and also in the starboard whole side it's got a, a cot for sleeping in and there are a fair, a fair few um bits and pieces in there as well personal affectations like there are um hollow emitters of his family presumably and there are uh books actual 
like physical books, not just data pads, but physical books in here. And there is even some alcohol that you presume is alcohol on the desk. <laughs> okay. That's what you can see immediately. So, Hono emitters, we're not interested in. Mm -hmm. Actually, I don't know. I mean, you can reprogram a hollow emitter, right? Oh, yeah, you can wipe it and put whatever you want on it. Yeah, so. Um. There's two of them, one on, one on his bedside cot and one on his desk. So we'll just take our time with this and we'll slowly empty this room out and then we'll go to the bottom. Okay. That gives me time to uh, update the manifest. Sure. So, I mean, if you're going to do a thorough investigation of this place, can you do a... Hmm, what would it be? Hmm. I guess it would be a perception. I don't think there's anything more than perception on there. Yeah, perception. Ooh. Sorry, I meant to add another. Not bad. Oh, before, anyone, bad. before anyone does anything. Oh. I was going to oh. add that onto it. So you just get an advantage. Okay. Everyone else can do what they want. I'll tell the Enos what, what they want to do. So, uh, Novik and Zeus can, like, scour this place if they want to. It's perception. Oh, little, oh, oh with perception. Oh, I see what you mean. Sorry. That's right. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Boom. Ooh. Mm -mm. Interesting. Yeah. Um. Okay. <laughs> Very as I'm as uh, I'm fumbling about, I set off an alarm. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> Zeus, yeah. do you want to search for anything in particular? What would you like to do, Zeus? What would Zeus like to do when she's in the captain's quarters? Bad. No, Is it okay if I call Zeus a she? If you want, it doesn't really have a sex, but if you want... Because yeah, I find it like, impersonal if I call it it. It's a bit rude. Do you not feel Just it? Just call me a mafra. I mean, have, have you got a preferred like gender specification for it? Like they, Do you it, identify them? as male, female? Or no, I just don't Zeus. care. I'm something in between. Or meat, meat popsicle? <laughs> <laughs> what I refer to about? <laughs> okay, I, I'll just. I mean, if you're happy with it, I'll just say it. Yeah, well, I didn't want. I didn't it. want to offend Zeus at all. So, what would uh, what would it like to look for? I think as uh, Zeus's motivations would be. Hmm. I said any input. Into what? Into That's what right. Zeus could be looking for. Yeah, no, we're just looking randomly for. searching. Uh, but Zeus likes computers, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Buttons. You'd be looking for, like, tech. And there, there is a, a terminal on the, aft yep. port, on the aft desk. Just to reiterate, I'll go through it all again, just so it's fresh in their mind. Um, there's like a uh, again, I'll go from top to bottom. At the top, at the four section, there is a meeting table. Then there is, on the uh, starboard section, there is a cot with a hollow emitter next to it. On the aft, there is a desk with a terminal on it. And on this port section, there is um, like, like a food dispenser there as well. So and any and all of these positions have got a potential to be like, ha hacked into, if you want to hack into, well, slice into. Yeah, it could have a go. Mm. I mean, you can slice into the meeting table, you can slice into the two hollow emitters, you can slice into the terminal, and you can slice into the um, food dispenser. Mmm, num nums. Yeah. Uh, those are just the, the computer things, really.
What would Zeus like to do? Well, can I search for like any security hardware or anything? Uh, your best option to look for hardware would either be slicing into the um, meeting table or the terminal. Go into the terminal then. Okay, you sit down at the desk and you bring up the terminal. Now, do you want to look for personal or ship specific? Ship specific. Okay. Uh, now, with regards to ship specific stuff, do you want to look? What do you want to look for specifically? A cargo manifest would be really handy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that would uh, be good. Uh, how how deep into the cargo manifest do you want to go? Do you want to get just a general... Deep as I can uh, go. Okay, deep as you can go. No worries. But, uh, uh, go for it. If you're ready. Which role? Uh, it's computers, check. Computers. Yeah. God damn it, what are you so good mm. with? <laughs> can I just ask one question All right. before Zeus yep. does anything that involves tech does it always go buttons yeah does Zeus always say buttons that's... buttons is that, can is that canon my new thing buttons, buttons. it's my new thing uh, okay right I'm going to do the success first then the triumph then the threat is always, narratively speaking, is always the most interesting. Thank you. So, you access the crew manifest. You access the, well, no, not the manifest. You access the cargo manifest in great detail. Um, first of all, there are three layers. So the first layer, you get just the general manifest, which is stop here, pick up X, Y, and Z, go here. Um, then you access the specifics, which are the size and quantity. And then the ac access the restricted areas, which are actually what the cargo is. Um, now, uh, I'm just going to abbreviate all the stuff that would be of interest to you. There is contraband on board. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mine. <laughs> Mine? Mine. Uh, so there are three crate crates of contraband, and there is one heavily restricted Empire-specific contraband on board which is an environmentally regulated pod okay uh, now the triumph uh, allows you to get inside the environmentally restricted pod which you know is a defector it's a defector from the Pax planet and it is one of the high up um one of the high up uh, attaches to the government who is defecting to the Empire and is going to be giving them all of the information that they need to be able to um, quell any rebel and rebel sympathizer um, specific uh, sympathies that they have on board the planet. So basically, it's going to be very easy for the Empire to dominate Pax. And they're on board here in a cryotube. And the threat is that all of the alarms on board go off. Right. Because the computer has detected that you have hacked into a restricted sort of area. And so the um, emergency lights, go, well, the normal lights go off, the emergency lights come on, so it's completely red in here, and the klaxons start firing. So, if anything, it's just mildly annoying. Uh, Novik, what would you like to do? This is all happening simultaneously. Uh, I heard the mention of... I'm going to axe? What am I going to axe? No, I said, oh, were you looking at Pax? Hmm? No, sorry, I, I, sorry, I got a message. Oh, right, right. <laughs> it's been one of those weeks I've had messages left, right, and centre, so I'm trying to reply yeah, as I get them. No, no, no. That's cool. Um, so yes, what was happening? I've 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 done a Zeus. What was going on? No, no, that's perfect. <laughs> Just do, do what you would like to do. <laughs> well, I, I where the hmm. what would, what would uh, Novik like to do? 
you've got like a minute basically before uh, Zeus does it, its thing. I have a rifle. Are, are there lockers in the area? I have a rifle around in lockers. See if I can find yeah. any weaponry. Yeah, or, absolutely. You know, just generally looking for shiny things. Shiny things that might be of uh, interest. Okay. There's a data pad on the nightstand, and there is a locker in this room. I'll go for the locker. The data pad stuff just isn't my my bag. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Because it's probably in, parts already. Yeah. In the locker, you find a humanoid, a regular humanoid sized uh, uniform. There are three different ones. There's a um, an extra vehicular one. So, one uh, mm. spacesuit in here, size for a normal sized humanoid. There is a general duty uniform, and there is a fancy formal uniform in here. Do I recognize what the. Have they got any insignia or anything? Uh, good question. I would like you to do an inner, inner rim check for me. Uh, knowledge? No. Yes. Yes. Uh, core world? Uh, yeah, core world. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Uh you know it's in the core world. <laughs> what is it, it can't be really blank rolls tonight. <laughs> yeah, blank rolls every time. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, you know it's in, in the core world system, but you're not quite sure where to place it. Uh, if anything, you'd probably put it in the south of the core world. But that's about as far as you can get. It just looks like a fancy uniform. So it's well kept. Okay. Well, I have no interest in that, but I, 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 <laughs> I throw the spacesuit down um, in. Yanos's direction, and then hold yep. up the suit. <laughs> the fancy suit. It I'll will look, fit you. Looking, looking at Yanos. Yeah. <laughs> it will fit both you and Yanos. You're roughly the same, similar size. Mm. I mean, uh, like, I mean, Novik is like fairly muscular as well. I mean, I say fairly, very muscular. Um, but, I mean, Yanos is also... Yeah, he's Imperial trained, so he's got muscle on him as well. It'd kind of fit you both. Unfortunately, Zeus is an insectoid, and she is nearly <laughs> two, two... Well, it's nearly two metres tall, and thin, with, like, carapace and uh, a, a tripartite body. So, it would need a specific suit for it. Uh, well, as now Vic holds up the suit and shows it to Janos, Janos will go, nice, it goes with your eyes. There you go. You got a recommendation there? It would fit you. <laughs> <laughs> you reckon it would be quite tight on the biceps, but other than that... Well, yeah, be... I mean, you know, Novik no, tends to run, you know, ripped sleeve style. Yeah. <laughs> so it would, a... just, it would just be a waste of a good uniform, really. Yeah. Well, if case... it helps, it's, it's red and gold. It's red with gold trim. But I, personally, I think we stow the uniforms because you never know when extra uniforms are going to come in handy. Well, this is true. We might end up in the core worlds and we'll spot the insignia and go, ooh. And then I can do my blending in thing. Hmm. Um, but did I you mean, I, I, I would. Did you say there was a spacesuit as well? Or is it like Yeah, I threw, I threw, I threw the spacesuit towards you. Um. Yes, so, um, is it a functioning spacesuit? As far as you know. Um, I get but can I also get a perception check from, um, from uh, Nervic, please? Oh, is it booby trapped? <laughs> well, who knows? It might just be to see if you find the shiny in, in there. Could be a weapon mod for your axe. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell is it with you and like blank? Look at all those dice. Sake. What the fuck? Okay, nothing. <laughs> yeah, everything. Maybe, maybe. Are you sure like you? Star Wars die? <laughs> Until it evened out perfectly. You like Constantly. Star Wars die when you're using your axe. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Can his axe do a perception check? No, it's not. It's, it's not a sentient, a sentient axe. 
maybe if you took out the lightsaber, maybe I'd have something to say. But no, the, the Vibrax has nothing to say. Okay, cool. So, uh, yeah, it, as far as you can tell, you have a look over. It doesn't look like it's been despoiled in any way. You assume it functions. You could spend five minutes testing it, and it would reveal to you the functionality of it, if you want to. Well, it seems as where we are and what we're doing, that would probably be five minutes well spent. Okay. All right, 30 seconds after it in to try to check it, the klaxons go off from Zeus hacking into the computers. Uh, Janos, uh, while in 30 seconds that um, Novik is searching the um, locker, are you doing anything? <laughs> it's before he reveals all the collection of outfits for you to try on. Um, I would be checking. It, did you say there was a a meeting desk in here as well? Yes. I'd... It's the large meeting desk desk in the fore quarter. Is it functioning? Uh, it's in low power mode, but you think it's functioning? Can I check it out? See if I can get anything to show up on that. Um, what would you like to show up on it specifically? Uh, I'm what just are you looking for. Randomly checking it, pressing a few buttons, seeing what their course I mean, was or whatever. Yeah, pressing a few buttons, the whole thing comes online. It it sheds a, a light blue glow across the whole room, uh, and the last meeting itinerary comes up, um, which specifies uh, their trip from. Uh, where was it? Got it written down. I've lost it now. Sorry. It's cargo and it is. Ah, Bakrana. So they've travelled from Bakrana to X Carga. And you know this to be a good month's trip, really. I know. I wonder it's smart rank when we came in through the door. <laughs> True. Just a month's worth of farts, all encased in a small steel tube. This is, this is why you have to change your filters every couple of months. You got to change your filters. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and that—that's kind of like the general thing that comes up when you touch it. It looks unrestricted, and it just comes up with their flight plan. Fairly standard operations. Kidoki. Anything more detailed, you'd have to kind of like look into. God, um, unless I can fly it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's more than happy to trace the path, like from that place to that place. Like, oh, okay, that's where they were going. Fair enough. Yeah, I do sort of have a look at the navigational map because. You know, maps and charts and stuff kind of go hand in hand with what I do. Okay. Um, in that case, I'll, if you could take a more closer look, I would like you to do a perception check for me, please. Ooh. Mm, okay. That's fair enough. Um, yeah, you see that they have deviated their course. Uh, they have taken a, a not particularly efficient route uh, after they left the hairdresser. Um, what, oh, a hard essay system. Uh, what you'd normally think is they'd probably go a little bit further uh, along the smugglers' run uh, before they actually went into uh, well, to fly toward the sky, but they're taking like an, a, an unofficial route. So that kind of piques your interest. However, um, as you're looking at that, you trip a security feature and then it whole thing goes off and the whole table turns red and says restricted and that's about the time that Novik throws the suit down at your feet fortuitous timing <laughs> and then you discuss this and about 30 seconds later after that the whole room goes red mm -mm. and the clacks and starts sounding right so does it sound like a comedy klaxon Mm, no. Like fun house klaxon. Fun house prizes to be won. <laughs> no, it doesn't. 
I oh. miss that show. Um, anyway, does it sound you like... Just, you just miss the twins. Yeah, pretty much. And the go-karts. <laughs> go-karts, man. Twins, oh, yeah, twins and go-karts. Wrong. You can't go wrong. <laughs> does it sound like the sort of klaxon where we should probably vacate the room rather quickly? Uh, well, because Zeus is so good, she would know that it is uh, a ship wide klaxon. Ship wide klaxon. <laughs> Can you shut it off? <laughs> what, the klaxon? <laughs> Just turn off the alarm. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Just nothing to hear, nothing to worry about. And then we'll we'll put a message over. Sorry, sorry, spill my coffee. Sorry. Is anything else happening? There's no like turrets appearing out of nowhere. No. Or... No. It would be really nice to get that klaxon turned off though. Yeah, you think so. Zeus, Zeus, do you want to have a play with the computer so if you can push some buttons and? I have it. Yeah. What do you want me to roll okay. computers again? Uh, please. Okay. Oh, my! Hang on, my roll twenty is frozen. I have to refresh. Very annoying. Mm-hmm. Can you all hear that? Yep. Hear what? What? I what? can't hear anything. What? I can't hear anything. Flexing. You can't? Hear it? No, I can't. Ryan, you can hear it. I can hear it, yeah. That? Nope. Oh. That's odd. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. Because I had, like, some I can hear next door having a domestic. Oh, are they? They are, yeah. Uh, oh, fucking micers. They've gone quiet yeah. now. They were shouting just now. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, that's a good. That's a damn good roll, Zeus. Um. <laughs> bless you. Bless you. Uh. Okay. Fair enough. You've managed to not only turn off the klaxon, you've de- decommissioned every single assassin droid on board. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, you, uh, you, you shut up the system. And not only do you shut up the system, you also disable the klaxon for the rest of the ship as well. So if you do trigger anything more, the, uh, the sound won't happen, just the red lights will come on. So you get a visual stimuli, but you won't get an auditory stimuli. Uh... And also you can see into the next room. Uh, and in the next room, uh, the motion sensors are pinging. There are two life form, well, two things that are moving in the um, aft section. In this room? Uh, yes, in that room. Is in the next room that we're going to step into? Correct. Right, so um, you guys carry on here. I'm going to go back to the ship, check everything's okay. Yeah. Also, you have missed the um, the fine alcohol beverage that is on the terminal table. Well, you did say about that, but I didn't know what was up with it. Can it I... is in a decanter. There are two fine crystal glasses uh, on a wooden sideboard next to it. It looks like it's a set. <laughs> it also looks particularly fragile. I will quickly take that back over to the Nomura. Are you just going to literally go from one section to the other section to put it in the airlock? So like, there you go. Done. Yeah. Or all the way into the Nomura. I'm going all the way into the Nomura because I'm going to okay. stow it in a very, very safe place. Cool. Uh, so, yeah, about a minute and a half goes by. So about two and a half minutes. Well, about a minute and a half after the klaxon sound, 
Uh, Yelos just grabs the alcohol and just runs out. No, 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 uh, running. Port, port no, wise. No running, no running. I, do no, I just casually saunters out I with the, uh, I with be the alcohol under one arm. Yeah. And you go over to the Nomura and you set it inside the Nomura. Into and the you, captain's you, quarters. Yeah. And you jog back, but not so that anyone can see you, but you just listfully jog back. No, no, because Janet uh, runs like a girl. All right. Well, no one can see you, though, because you just go down the corridor. Still, you know, <laughs> that droid walking about the ship. And, you know. All right. Okay, so you put one hand in your like trousers and you just casually saunter back. <laughs> so about uh, two minutes later, Yanos reappears. Uh, you've done everything you can in this room. Now, my question is, it's now 20 past 10. We did start... Like twenty minutes late, but we are on a two-hour mark, so it's absolutely up to you if you want to continue or break for the next month. Is it a month or am I back from? Oh, wait, a month. Is it a month or am I back from my holiday after that? I Might know you fine. said. Oh no, no, it's two weeks. That's no, fine. That's fine. <laughs> I was going to say. Yeah, two, I know three. you said you definitely miss. Um... Ryan's game. Yeah, yeah, I was. I was. Uh, I, uh, I was in going to take my laptop with me, but I can't fit it in my carry-on luggage, so I can't take my <laughs> laptop. Otherwise, I would have streamed from Berlin. That's fine. Um, Tatty might be the only character not to die. Hooray! <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I mean, we got we got two weeks before the next Star Wars game, so I can either end it here or you can go on for a little while. I'd say go on for another 20 minutes or cut it here. Up to you. I don't mind either way. Mm-hmm. What? Well, I'm tired, but if you guys want to go on, it's fine. He's looking at me. He's giving me these puppy <laughs> eyes. <laughs> Star uh, Wars. Uh, Star and Wars. the lip. The little lip tremble as well. Jim, you've just got to say Star Wars in that voice and everything will be fine. We're good. 20 minutes. Okay, 20 minutes. <laughs> Star Wars. So, okay, on to 2240. <laughs> okay, I, I'm going to uh, usher you guys through for time, for my interest of speed. Uh, you clear up your... your uh, yeah, if there's any interest in loot this. that we've missed, just put it on the manifest for me, it'll be fine. Or just leave it, that's fine. Um, you'll go into the airlock and you trigger... Uh, the sat well the aft airlock it goes amber amber red amber amber green and it opens up and you get another waft of probably slightly even more staler air it seems like the airlock recycles automatically at some point but this seems to be particularly stale um and you're opened up to a one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve about a fifteen by twenty five meter open aired midsection. Now this looks like to be the drive section here. So it's got a lot of computer terminals around it. Um, it's also got a recreational area, so it looks like the engineering section doubles up to the recreation area. Um, you see like a, a, a sort of half moon seat in one corner. You see another sort of troop deployment seat in the opposite corner and then the alternate corners between the between that seem to be the engineering sections. It's got a crisscross. Uh, however, you do see two figures uh, sort of walking uh, just on the other side of the actual core. So I'm going mm. to put mm. them in there. Force ghosts? Oh no, they seem to be fairly like uh, they're not translucent in any way. Are their feet clanking? Yeah, because they're wearing spacesuits. God damn it. Do they seem to have rather metallic skin? Uh, you can't tell because they're in spacesuits. God damn it. <laughs> there is one. He is over there. 
And here is another. He's over there. Is one of them called mm. Buzz? <laughs> and the other one is called Aldrin. No, no. So they're in space suits. Yes. But we're in a ship that has atmosphere. Rather rank atmosphere, but atmosphere nonetheless. Correct. Um, they probably wouldn't hear us. Uh, that would be a reasonable supposition, yeah. Because they would have comms in the suits. Mm-hmm. Yeah, m most spacesuits come with, like, uh, interpersonal comms. Not long-range, but, like, short-range ones. Do we want to introduce ourselves politely, or do we want to introduce ourselves the way we usually do? Because I'm not sure if I'm related to any of these guys, or I've known them in the past, so I, I feel a bit funny about just shooting them. Um... I, I, I don't know. I honestly don't. I, don't, I well, honestly hang on. don't. Wait, know. wait. I've got the spacesuit, right? Does the spacesuit I've got look like the same spacesuit they're wearing? Yes, it looks identical. It would only take me a moment to put the spacesuit on. It would take you about two minutes to put the spacesuit on. So, if we step back into the airlock for a second, out of the way, mm -hmm. as mm -hmm. they wouldn't have noticed our presence, of course. Well. Well. I mean, would they? Who knows? And then I put the spacesuit on. So you're going to go back inside the space lock? Yeah. Well, oh, do I have? Well, I mean, I could put the spacesuit on where we are. Yeah, you could do. Yeah. Making sure that uh, my blaster is attached to the side of the spacesuit and not the inside of the. Yeah, you'd have to take your holster off and then yeah. magnetically, magnetic, magnetically put it to the belt. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll do that. Okay. Uh, okay, right. Oh, I reset it. There we go. Do, 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 Okay. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, nothing happens. Uh, you get inside your spacesuit. You take about two minutes to do that. It kind of goes over there. Hey, after two minutes, he goes over there. There you go. And you're now inside your spacesuit. So Zeus is the only one not inside a spacesuit at this point. Should I get in it quick? You don't have a spacesuit, Zeus. Oh, fair enough. You've just got a breathing mask. <laughs> yeah. You can put the breathing mask on if you want. He does smell quite rank in here. <laughs> it, do it does. Well, we already know that no life signs were detected. That is also correct. I've got this. This just reminds me of Doctor Who, the library. I don't watch Doctor Doctor Who. <laughs> in the library. Uh, the silence in the library. The 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 shadows. If you stepped into the shadows, you would oh. be consumed. Oh. <laughs> However, your body and your spirit would be. Preserved in the spacesuit life support system. Oh yeah, that one. And then, that one. Oh, yeah. and then okay. they did the freaking awesome. Look at it. Look, look up that that. Um, I think it was double bill one. Yeah, so look up that and was, give it a watch. Yeah. It was brilliant. What was it? Because okay. yeah. the first one was called the library, and then the second episode. Which doctor? Uh, David uh, Tennant. That was Tennant. Tennant. Oh yeah. I, I like um, the guy who plays David Tennant. Oh no, it is David Tennant. 
I like the guy who yeah, plays David Tennant too. <laughs> so I get on the com. Yeah. And I'll just say hello, hello. Oh, okay, that broadcasts to all of them. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right. So what you hear back is. Oh, you can hear the. Oh, that's a shame that. Well, oh, okay. Actually, that is fairly. Um. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You hear this, and only you hear this, which is quite appropriate because. Um, uh, Licky and Jim can't hear it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's what you hear. <laughs> Are you freaked out enough? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Good. And I guess neither Licky nor Jim heard that. No. Nope. nope. Good. Perfect. I take the helmet off the spacesuit. Oh, after... okay, okay, okay. <laughs> and I turn to Nervic, quite white faced. Oh fuck. And say, I'm not sure how you kill something that's already dead. With nuclear fission. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a ghost ship. Yay. We're not scientists, we're girl guides. <laughs> <laughs> Is your plan get it? Oh god. What do you mean um, dead? You, How are they dead? The pass and Just that guy turns around. Okay, so this way. It either sounds like they're an 80 year old asthmatic cur <laughs> or it sounds like the groom from Shaun of the Dead. <laughs> hmm. And I would kindly ask the GM not to play that noise again, please. <laughs> yeah, cheers. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sorry. I like freaking right out. No one else. <laughs> the voice is in your head. Um, sh- what, what the fuck do we do? The good news this is... Wasn't so- this wasn't something I was expecting from a Star Wars game. <laughs> the good news is... It sounds. It, is canon. it sounds like they're trying to breathe, which means they have faces. Okay. Which means I have a target to shoot. Hmm. Novik steps forward. Like, oh, there we are. Yep. So, are the, are the, have they got like their 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 full reflected? Um, yes. Yeah, the whole on. thing's on, like with a whole kind of seal is on. Which then, this is the reason why only when you open comms could you hear it. Uh... No big steps forward. Okay, right. <laughs> oh, About shit. there, uh, the thing kind of. Well, you can't see it because it's got like a, a UV filter on it. Yeah, but just in case you're outside and you know you're in a, a high um, solar atmosphere, um, it seems to start walking towards you slowly, but directly towards you. But can't be directly towards you because you're on the grid, so kind of have to go by diagonals. So as Novik steps forward, I think Yanos would probably also step forward. Okay, go for it. Do somewhere around here? Mm hmm. Sure. Yeah. Uh, Zeus, where do you want to go? Um, you could try flanking. 
Probably like uh, over this way. Yeah, somewhere over here. Okay, okay. I mean, there is a nice terminal just there. Just like ten, well, just two meters away from your hand. Phew. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> but, you might. But, uh... It's his fault, because what do you do? Bubbles. <laughs> what do you mean making fun of my fish always going under the filter? Look at the bubbles. Look at the bubbles. <laughs> bubbles. Okay, I would like you all to do a um, a cool initiative check for me, Yay, please. I'm so excited about this. I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. We've got nothing. Oh, you have got to be fucking... What no, the fuck is going nothing. on? Nice. There's got to be something wrong with your rolls. No, the, no there isn't, because I did roll a, a perception check. That... You've got nothing as well. Oh, I'm so... oh this what is going to be great. Oh, no. I don't want to play this game anymore. <laughs> <laughs> At least with a D20, you can blame the die. I know, right? Curse of die. Uh, and these guys get... Do 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 they're making, an, they're making another one, by the way. Yeah, oh, no. Just let it die already. Oh. Well, oh, wow. Yeah, it took me out. Hopefully, they'll do the same with Indiana Jones that they did with Han Solo. <laughs> uh, uh, have some okay. emo bitch kill him. Yeah. All right. I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm going to say one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> the They're just doing sequels of all of Han Solo's films, all of Han Solo's, or Harrison Ford films, just so we can get killed off. <laughs> get one last big payout and then die. Yeah. Yeah, no, totally. I'm not comfortable being engaged ranged. I'm just going to point this out. Oh, really? Uh, okay, gauge brawl. New Are they trying to give us a hug? Yeah, why yeah, not? Yeah, of course. They're just, they are the Star Wars version of Teletubbies. That's all it is. Teletubbies. Have they got big TVs on their chest? Possibly, possibly. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so damage is for that and for that. I've still got a feeling they're droids. Oh, sorry. I didn't put in the difficulty for melee. There we go. Okay, right. So this is going to be on Yanos first. Okay. That is a hit. Uh, they don't get a critical, unfortunately. So it is five damage to Yanos okay. minus your defense. Defense plus soak. If you've got melee defense plus your soak. No, just soak. Okay. Unless the space suit gives me protection, which I don't think it does. It does not. However, if you get critical, the space suit gets ruined. FYI. And on Nervic. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. And that's it's how I like it. Kind of I know. Kind of like a, yeah. You're like a negative space of some kind. <laughs> Uh, so thought. now it is a PC turn. Anyone can go. Looks like it's me then. Well, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it's Nervic. <laughs> no one else is um, volunteering. Well, seeing as how Nervic's first reaction would be hmm. smacky smack to the face. So we're in melee with it. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. You are, uh, I'm going to put in uh, a boost die for your first melee attack. Ooh. You're pretty scared. <laughs> Isn't that you? Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, what the... What the oh. Fuck this game. I'm out. That's it. Mic drop. <laughs> <laughs> Bam, out. I'm gone. That's it. I'm done. Okay, so you fail to hit it. However, oh. um, when you do your swipe attack... Uh, 
either you can choose your advantage on a combat, or I can say that you do a, a forward roll and end up behind it. Um, yeah, let's do a forward roll. Okay, do a forward there. roll. Do a barrel roll. Oh no, it's Yanos. No, Vic. There you go. <laughs> there you go. You are that way. So, next PC, uh, Zeus or or Yanos. Uh, if Zeus wants to play with the buttons for a second, it's yeah. not going to make any difference to me. So, okay. Uh, Zeus, you are. I've got access to the engineering terminal. What do you want to do? What should I do? Imagine you are in the engineering section of the Lex, and you can uh, you can <laughs> control the Lex in any way that you want to. What would you make the Lex do right now? Fly to any planet I wanted. You totally, yeah, no, you absolutely could. If you wanted to make it to fly to any planet you wanted to, you could do. Set it on that course. Except this ship's got no engines. I oh, know it's got active engines. I thought you said that they already taken the engines off it. No, they've taken the sublight engines from it, but not the ah, um, not starlight. Not... Engines, which is why it's listing, but it it is still got hyperdrive capability. That is one of the three components that they want. Um. So you can abso absolutely send it on its way. Or you could do anything you want. Just remember, if you are moving this ship, my ship is attached to it. Correct. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to I didn't want to say that. It would have been funny. If oh, I would have done if you did. <laughs> it <would have> ripped <laughs> apart. <laughs> Okay, coasting when okay, you. Okay, I don't want to. I don't want to move it. So, guys, help me out here. What would you want Zeus to do? Well, find out what these fucking things are. I'd imagine, but this, this Novik hasn't got a clue what you know. Janos heard, so he's just seen someone in a spacesuit coming at him. But you know, out of character. Find out if there's some sort of sentient or, you know, droid security mechanism for the ship and shut the fuckers See, down. See, I was thinking security. Okay, okay, yeah, do that with the security. Okay, still want to activate the security measures. Wait, what? <laughs> Is that what you want to do? No. No, no. check. Or you want to activate the security exactly. cameras? No, no, see, see, see if the these end. these things, whatever they are, yeah, are um, are droid like security measures for the ship. Oh, if they are, okay, check it. Uh, okay, fair enough. Uh, do, 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 do. Right, you should go for a computer's check now. Damn it! Oh no, oh. you. Oh, uh, no, no worries. I'll do. I'll just roll a separate one. Roll it. So that takes out that. You still, yeah, you're still fine. Um. Okay, yeah, you access the security computer. You know that these uh, are not security features. With your advantage, you also know that they are uh, former crew members, and you actually bring up a picture in picture of uh, what happened on the last few minutes of the ship's log, which was um, these people they. What happened was there was some kind of hull breach, and so everybody went into emergency mode and put on their um, spacesuits, which is why these creatures in spacesuits. You know that these two creatures are former um, crew members, and the creatures that boarded the ship, uh, the security monitors, monitors don't display an image of them. All they display is what looks like a shadow, um, and when they start attacking the the crew members, the last thing you find before the whole thing goes offline is one of the shadow forms uh, slashing at one of the spacesuits and then creeping inside it and just vanishes. And then the spacesuit itself kind of lurches and then starts walking in a kind of like a monstrous fashion. And then the whole thing cuts out. Keynote. So basically, it looks like they're being attacked by shadows. Well, 
Okie doke. Okay, and Yanos, you go. Um, in this game, do they get an attack mm -hmm. of opportunity if I move away? Hmm. No, I don't think that happens. No. Then Yanos is going to move up here. Mm -hmm. Saying, I ain't having none of this shit. And then he gonna shoot. Okay. Go for it. Roll for it. Jesus. <laughs> uh, well, that's... Yeah, that's a lot of damage. That's one, two, three. That's nine damage. And you can give an advantage to anyone you want. I'm... Actually, that should have also been another boost to you as well. Sorry. Oh, no. Sorry. There you go. Oh, so that would have been critical. Ooh, critical. Yep. So, um, narratively speaking, you shoot this creature and you pierce the visor and uh, this kind of smoke. Like, it's opaque and grey. starts spilling out of its visor um, and it shudders, convulses uh, and kind of like contracts in and of itself. So it kind of folds inwards. So it, uh, when it collapses, its arms go backwards and its knees and legs go backwards and it folds into kind of a ball and starts shuddering on the floor in a sphere. Even though it is humanoid, it makes itself into a ball, but backwards. And it starts rolling about and then eventually stops. And this gas stops coming out of the uh, visor. Is it dead? Uh, you, well... It's hard to tell. I mean, you guess it's dead because it stopped moving. I'm, uh, oh, I'm, shit. I'm going to wait for my next turn and I'm going to shoot it again. Okay. Uh, right. maybe, we should take, maybe we should take our suits off. <laughs> well, I've, I've, I've not got the helmet on in neither of you, so we're not sealed into oh, yeah. the suit. Yeah, but if it gets into the suit and then, you know... It takes like two, <laughs> it takes like two minutes to get out the suit, dude. No, I know. I'm just overly paranoid. I've I have seen Doctor Who. Ooh. I've also <laughs> played New Vegas with the. Uh... Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, right, Novik. Oh. Oh, sorry, sorry, I didn't do that right. There you go. It's still a it's still a hit. You take five damage, minus your <laughs> melee defense, minus your uh, soak. Sweet. Done. As it smacks you with a gloved hand. Oh, wait, that's a point. Uh, do I get my... Yeah, I get my defense back now. All my critical wounds are gone, don't I? Yes, you do. Yeah. Marvellous. And yeah. it is now three PCs turns in a row. So who wants to go first now? Uh, Novik. Yeah. Could you be a deer? Certainly. I shall whack him in the face. Go for it. Whack? Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> you, you're using the this ship... This is my fucking... This is my bread and... Hang on a minute. You're using the wrong thing. You're using that the ship turret. Right. Ship turret, yeah. That's what the right. fuck? Roll it again. Yeah, it is. I was going to say, that's better. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. That's the Noah Vic we all know and love. So uh, and, and crit. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, what do you want to. Well, basically, how do you kill this thing? Because you're going to kill it. Well, I smack its fucking head off. Well, okay. you, the, you know, the, the, smash, the head the, smash the UV in as it's going through and just chop whatever is under that helmet off. <laughs> I like it. Uh, so yeah, as you chop the head off, I mean, you get the seal, the, the metal ring that goes around its neck, mm -hmm. and you just chop it off at that point, and the whole head goes flying off. Uh, but because the head isn't exactly at the neck level, you kind of chop it off at the mouth. So like, the top from the mouth upwards goes spilling off into the helmet, and then you just get like a lower jaw and neck left inside there. 
And the same thing kind of happens, but instead of like, there being a jet of grey mist, there is like a plume of uh, like a dark grey mist that comes out of the top of it. And <laughs> that is where we will leave this episode. Always nice to end on a Noavik murder. Yes, indeed. I don't, it it mostly does. It's, um, it's not murder because... You know, these people, they needed to be rescued from their torment. True. Mm. And they attack first, I suppose. Yeah, it's, it's, it's euthanasia in self-defense. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Everybody want to well. do their tatty boys. Yes. Uh, thank you all for watching this last streaming with me. Uh, for me, it's a good night. Yeah. From, from Ryan and Lickety and Jim, aka Mr. Gray. Tatsy bye. Cheery bye. <laughs>